Hello everyone, I am uh, Amit Maru and today in this video we will discuss about C program for a 01 knapsack problem by using dynamic programming. Before starting of this video, I am requesting to all please watch my video on a 01 knapsack problem. The link of that video is available in description of uh, this video. So please use this link to watch the video on 01 knapsack problem by using dynamic programming. So let us start our today's video on a C program for a 01 knapsack problem. First of all, let us have a brief idea about 01 knapsack problem. As per the knapsack problem, we have a number of objects and every object has some weight and value. We have one knapsack in that we have to fill a different objects. And the basic goal of our knapsack problem is we have to maximize the total value of our knapsack but knapsack has one capacity constraint that is capital W. It indicates that our knapsack can carry maximum capital W unit. So we have to fill our knapsack in such a manner so that we can maximize total value or total profit of our knapsack with capacity constraint capital W. It means that total weight must not be more than capital W. It must be less than or is equal to capital W. So with this constant we have to fill our knapsack and we have to maximize total profit of our knapsack. For example we have a total of 5 different objects and every object has as we discussed some weight and value. So object number 1 has a weight 1 value 1, object number 2 has a weight 2 value 6, same way object number 5 has a weight 7 and value 28. The capacity constraint of our knapsack capital W is equal to 11. It indicates that our knapsack can carry maximum 11 unit. So to maximize the value every time we need to check that total weight must not be more than 11. It must be less than or is equal to capital W or we can say less than or is equal to 11. One thing you need to return here in 01 knapsack problem we have a number of object but we cannot divide our object into different parts either we can use a full object or we have to leave behind the object right so that this knapsack problem is known as zero one knapsack problem zero indicates no object one indicates full object so we cannot divide our object into different parts now as per the dynamic programming we have to set one table and uh, every table has some uh, uh, number of rows and number of columns. This number of rows and number of columns is depends on number of object and capacity constant of our knapsack. Now number of uh, uh, objects are 5 for example then there will be total 5 number of rows in our matrix or we can say table. The first row indicates our first object, second row indicates our second object, same way fifth row indicates our object number 5 and the number of column is depends on capital W here the capital W is equal to 11 so that we have a total uh, 11 number of column and uh, one separate zeroth column so we have a 0 to capital W column so 0 to 11 column so this is the size of our matrix the number of rows it depends on the number of object and number of columns depends on the capacity constraint of our knapsack now we have to fill this knapsack by using above equation this is the equation using that we have to fill the knapsack another thing is we have a three other condition the first condition is if v is 0 j is equal to 0 for any value of j which is greater than or equal to 0 Whenever the value of i is equal to 0 at that time directly we have to fill 0 there. If the value of j is equal to 0 at that time we have to fill 0 there. So when we uh, when we start to fill this matrix at that time if the value of i is equal to 0 at that time we have to put directly 0 there. If the value of j is equal to 0 at that time we have to put 0 directly. Third condition is if the value of j is less than 0 it means that negative at that time we have to put a negative sentinel symbol and we are assuming here is negative sim sentinel symbol is the maximum or we can say largest negative value so when we fill our matrix at that time if the value of j is negative at that time we have to put negative sentinel symbol 
let us fill this uh, table by using above equation and by using this three condition uh, first step is if the value of i is equal to 0 or j is equal to 0 then we have to directly put 0 there so for this first column or we can say the for this zeroth column the value of j is equal to 0 so that we can directly put 0 there so the first column is equal to 0 now the second step is we have to fill value here here the value of i is equal to 1 this is the first row and j is equal to 1 this is the first column here the value of i is equal to 1 for every value uh, or we can say for first row the value of i is equal to 1 right so for example if you want to put a value here at that time the value of i is equal to 1 and j is equal to 1 so fill uh, i is equal to 1 here so 1 minus 1 is equal to 0 as we discuss if the value of i is equal to 0 at that time we have to put 0 there so here the value uh, of i will be 0 because 1 minus 1 is equal to 0 so this term will be 0 now another term has v of i minus 1 j minus w i again here 1 minus 1 is equal to 0 so the value of i will be 0 so this term will be 0 but plus v i is also there so 0 plus v i that is v 1 is equal to 1 so 0 plus 1 is equal to 1 this term has a value 0 this term has a value 0 plus 1 among these two term which one is maximum one is maximum so that we have to put maximum here so the answer is one the one we have to fill inside the matrix again uh, first row second column here we have to fill the value here value of i is equal to one and j is equal to one so again put the value of i is equal to one here so one minus one zero so this term will be zero here again this one minus one is equal to zero so this term will be zero zero plus v1 is equal to 1 so 0 plus 1 this is the 0 and this is the 0 plus 1 is, is equal to 1 so which one is maximum 1 so we have to put 1 here same way in our first row the value of i will be 1 so that every time we will have a same answer like 1 1 1 for first row so answer is same for the first row because the value of i is equal to 1 and every time we are getting uh, 0 uh, in place of i now i is equal to 2 means our second row second row first column here if you want to fill second row first column at that time one thing you need to return if the value of a weight is larger than the column value then we have to put above value as it is above value is 1 so we have to put 1 here because 1 is less than the 2 now if you want to put value here at that time we have to check the 2 is less than the 2 no the condition is false then we have to put value here here 2 is not less than the 2 so that we have to put value here here the i is equal to 2 second row and j is equal to 2 second column so put the value of i is equal to 2 and j is equal to 2 here i minus 1 j it means that above value above value is 1 we have to compare above value 1 with the second term v of i minus 1 j minus w i that is 2 minus 2 0 above row zeroth column that is 0 0 plus vi vi means 6 so 0 plus 6 is equal to 6 so above value is 1 and the second term has value 6 among these two value 1 and 6 which one is maximum 6 so that we have to put 6 here now if you want to put value here i is equal to 3 uh, sorry i is equal to 2 second row and j is equal to 3 that is third column so i is equal to 3 and j is equal to i is equal to 2 and j is equal to 3 when we put value of i is equal to 2 here then 2 minus 1 j it means that above value we have to compare above value with view of i minus 1 j minus w i that is 3 minus 2 that is 1 above row first column above row first column has a value 1 1 plus 6 is equal to 7 we have to compare 7 with above value which one is maximum 7 so we have to put 7 here same way if you want to fill value here then 4 minus 2 is equal to 2 above row second column is equal to 1 1 plus 6 is equal to 7 we have to compare 7 with above value above value is 1 which one is maximum 7 so we can get 7 here now in this uh, above row we have a, a value uh, which is same 1 1 1 for every column so that every time we will get 7 7 7 for remaining column for second row 
so in this way we can fill our second row now when we start to fill the our uh, third row at that time as we discuss if the value of weight is larger than the value of column then we have to put exactly above value here one is less than the five so we have to put as it is above value above value is one so we have to put one here here two if you want to uh, fill value here then the column value j is equal to two and two is less than the five so that exactly above value we have to fill here same way three is less than the five so we have to put above value as it is four is less than the five so that we have to put above value as it is now five is not less than the five then we have to apply our condition or we can solve our equation so as per the equation we have to compare above value seven with our second term that is five minus five is equal to zero above row zeroth column is equal to zero zero plus eighteen so our answer is eighteen 18 we have to compare 18 uh, with our above value 7 which one is maximum 18 so that we have to put 18 here same way 6 minus 5 1 above row first column is equal to 1 1 plus 18 19 so 19 we have to compare with the 7 which one is maximum 19 so we have to put 19 here in this way we have to fill remaining all the elements of our third row now when we fill our uh, fourth row as we discuss uh, we have to put above value as it is if the value of column is less than the 6 1 is less than the 6 so above value we have to put here 2 is less than the 6 so above value as it is 6 3 is less than the 6 so above value as it is 7 4 is less than the 6 then above value uh, as it is we have to put so 7 here 5 is less than the 6 then above value we have to put here so 18 now 6 is not less than the uh, 6 so we have to apply our condition as per the condition 6 minus 6 is equal to 0 above row 0 column has a value 0 0 plus 22 is equal to 22 and among these two value 22 and 19 which one is maximum 22 so that we have to put 22 here same we have to put remaining all the elements now we have to put same way our last row up to the last row last column now this last row and last column is nothing but the answer so our answer is 40 it indicates that maximum possible value of our knapsack is 40 now we have to implement uh, this algorithm in our C language so let us implement uh, in our C language Let us implement 0 1 knapsack problem uh, in our C language. So, first of all, uh, we have to include a different header file. The first header file that is a standard input output header file using this uh, preprocessor directive has included. We are including our header file that is stdio.h. Second header file we are including that is uh, conio.h that is console input output header file. We are using some function of stdio.h and conio.h in our program so that we have to include uh, both the header file in our program first. Now our uh, main function section that is a void main. In that we have a two part one is declaration part. In that uh, we have to declare different variable like uh, integer v. Uh, of 20 w of 20 both are the different uh, array we indicates value of different object in that we will store different uh, value of different objects and uh, w indicates weight in that we will store a weight of a different object i j n and capital w we are using uh, different variables <coughs> now uh, we will use one function that is a knapsack function in that we have a different argument like uh, uh, first uh, integer uh, array second integer array and uh, two different integer variables this function will uh, not return any value so that uh, return type is void this is the declaration of the function <coughs> now next one is clear screen to clear the output screen now we have to print one uh, message that is a number of objects so user will enter a number of object for that we have to use one scanf function scanf percent is the m person of n and will have a number of object then we have to enter a capacity constant of our knapsack so print one message enter capacity constant of knapsack 
scan up percentage d uh, m percent of capital w this capital w indicates uh, capacity constraint of the knapsack that knapsack can carry maximum capital w weight then we have to enter uh, different uh, weight and values for all the objects so we have a uh, n number of objects so use a for loop to store uh, weight and values uh, of every object so we are just printing one message enter weight and value of object i every time the value of i will be uh, first time one two the first time one then after two then after three like that so inside this uh, loop we have to enter different weight and values of the object now scan f uh, person at the m person of w i to scan weight of every object then scan a percentage d m person of uh, v i to scan or to ask a uh, weight of a uh, value of every object so using this uh, to scan f we are asking a weight of every object and value of every object after this for loop we will have uh, n number of objects and every object uh, will have uh, different weights and values then after we have to call one function that is knapsack function in that we have to pass uh, both the array that is uh, v indicates the value of every object and w indicates uh, weight of every object n indicates number of object and capital w indicates capacity constant of the knapsack we have to pass this all the values as a argument then the last statement of main function that is get ch to get character from the keyboard now outside this uh, void main we have to write a body of the function that is a knapsack function so let us write body of the function void knapsack is a name of our function in that uh, we have pass uh, two array and two integer variable so that to receive this all the values we have to declare another uh, two array as well as two different variables so here we have declared a two array that is a v w small n and capital w now inside this uh, function uh, we have to declare one uh, matrix or we can say two dimensional array the name of this array is k which has a size 20 rows and 20 column and two variable that is i and j this is the table in that we will fill different values and last row and last column will be the answer to fill this uh, matrix uh, we have to uh, use uh, two different loops this is the example of a nesting of for loop this is the four within the four so outer for loop is basically used for the row and uh, inner for loop basically used for the column so i for the row and j for the column so outer loop will be executed n times because we have a n number of objects so n number of rows will be there and uh, j will be uh, the column and j will be executed or we can say the inner loop will be executed capital w times starting from zero so total number of uh, column will be starting from zero to capital w now we have to fill this matrix so the first condition is as we discuss if the value of i is equal to 0 then we have to put 0 inside the matrix and if the value of j is equal to 0 then we have to directly put 0 inside the matrix so this is the first condition total three conditions we already discussed the first condition that is i equal equal 0 then we have to put 0 there if the value of j is equal to 0 then we have to put 0 there so that k of i j is equal to 0 now third condition if the value of j is less than the w of i if the value of column is less than the weight of that particular object at that time we have to directly fill above value so above value is nothing but k of i minus 1 j so we have to fill k of i j is equal to k of i minus 1 j that is above value if j less than w of i this is our third condition and then if this both the or we can say these three condition is false at that time we have to fill a value by using our equation and as we discuss inside the equation uh, we have one condition that is if k of i minus 1 
j it means that above value is greater than k of i minus 1 j minus w of i plus v i then we have to fill above value because above value is maximum so k of i minus uh, sorry k of i j is equal to k of i minus 1 j it indicates above value if this condition is false then we have to fill a uh, second term that is our k of i k of i j is equal to k of i minus 1 j minus w i plus v i if above value is not larger than the our second term then we have to fill second term because second term is a larger one so in this way we have to fill uh, our matrix then uh, we have to uh, print all the values of our uh, matrix by using again the nesting of for loop so use the nesting of for loop i for the row j for the column and print all the values of our matrix so print f percentage d k of i j print all the values of our matrix and as we discuss uh, our last row last column is our answer so that we have to identify the last row and last column and we have to print the value so print a percentage d k of n w this n is number of row it indicates last row and capital w that is our last column so we have to just print last value of last row and last column it indicates our answer so print this value so this is all about uh, uh, implementation of our knapsack problem so let us run the program first of all we have to enter a number of objects for example we have a five number of objects then we have to enter capacity of our knapsack capital w for example capacity constant is 11 we already discussed one example in our uh, same video so same value we are entering here five number of uh, objects and uh, capacity constant of our knapsack is 11 now we have to enter weight and value of uh, every object so we have five objects so we have to enter weight and value of five object uh, the weight and value of object number one that is suppose uh, weight is one and the value is also one enter weight and value of object number two for example weight is uh, two and the value is six now enter weight and value of object number three suppose weight is 5 and value is 18 then object number 4 the weight is uh, 6 and value 22 now object number 5 this is our last object which has a weight 7 and value 28 so as we discuss uh, our answer was a 40 this is the last row and last column so the last row and last column has a value 40 and the maximum uh, possible profit of uh, our knapsack with our capacity constant 11 is 40 so 40 is our answer so this is uh, all about uh, how we can implement 01 knapsack problem that is dynamic programming in our C language so thank you thank you for watching this video